Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Voice of Cards. Last time we left off, we found a Stila, and we went on an island and fought an old man, and it was kind of spooky. I still have a map for finding some kind of treasure in the dragon's nostril, but I just don't know where that is, is the problem. I didn't mean to get into a battle there, I'm kind of just guessing about where it could be. The dragon's nostril, like... I've been looking at areas that I feel like would be a nostril, but I can't seem to find it. Whatever. At least we get some free XP out of this, I suppose. Yeah, I wanna I wanna find this this dragon nostril, man. Deadly poison. Wow. How rude of you. Oh well. I can kill the mage now, I believe. After this. Yeah, I guess now we're just gonna head into the mausoleum. I suppose I could look up where the dragon nostril is. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do that after I go into the next dungeon. Like, I don't know. It might be in the dungeon? I don't think that would be the case. But, I don't know where the dragon's nostril is. I would have guessed it was somewhere around the volcano, but it seems to not agree with me. Uh, oh, hey! I didn't realize I didn't have Skullamancer's story. I thought I did. I thought I had basically every, all the enemies here's story. Cause yeah, I got the undead fungu. You get like sick if you try to eat it. I got you, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we just need you. The religious scholars knew if they were to ascertain the true nature of magic, they would need immortality. One lifetime was simply too short. Ere long, their pursuit of eternal life made monsters of them all. Now freed from intellectual and rational pursuits, they invoke spells with what sounds like pure joy. Yeah, so you went crazy in your pursuit of knowledge. Gotta watch that. Alright, so... Collection, key items... Yeah, seek out the location of the dragon's nostril. I just don't know, like... I imagine what it's talking about is looking at the map, and I would have thought that the dragon's nostril would be here on the island, where the dragon, you know, lives, basically. But if I could get, like, a bigger z view of the map, like zooming out or something. Hmm. 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 Yeah, I, I just don't know where it would be. This, like I said, looks like a nostril, but... I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Let's just go into the mausoleum. Sure. Proceed to the mausoleum interior. Like I said, if... If, uh, we beat this dungeon and I... You know, maybe, maybe I'll look it up when I get out just for the sake of having it done. Enemy appears. Alright, what sorts of enemies are we going to fight in here? Is it going to be the white uh, skeleton looking thing? Like the... Oh my god, okay, a holy pyro wolf. Interesting. Well, I'm pretty sure that just killed you, friend. Yep. Say goodbye to the pyro wolf. Or the holy wolf. Alrighty. Guess we're gonna be fighting some more of those in here. Through the door. You catch sight of figures you are pretty sure are Ivory Order disciples standing at the door to the mausoleum. Let us through, you say. But something isn't right. Trespassers will be disposed of on orders of Master Sherwin. Ah, so you did rat on us. Kill. They murmur dispassionately, and then attack. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do to you. Okay, so you guys are going to get added to my enemy list, eh? Been waiting for this. Time to murder some Ivory Order assholes. Okay, they are actually pretty strong. Uh, I'm going to be killing the mage first, because they have lower HP, lower defense, and probably cast some pretty that's nasty stuff. End. All allies land critical attacks. Riddus. Um, 
I guess I could cast a fire spell with you too. Um, but mostly I want to bop with Ritus. 17, 8, good damage. Alright, quick shot. Boom, boom, boom. Big Dimaggio. Okay. Add 5 to the target's attack for... Yeah, you're buffing him, because of course you are. Uh, please don't resist lightning. That would be preferable. Boom. Not quite enough to kill, but you're very close to dying. Deal damage and inflict attack down. Oh. Well, that's just rude. All allies laying crits. Um, just do a magic strike on this enemy. Oh, really? Well, I gotta quick shot the other guy. Hmm. Yeah, I need to quick shot you. Hopefully, Ash can finish uh, the other character off. You're actually going to attack. That's big damage. Okay. Finish. There we go. You jerk. How dare you dodge me. That was lucky. Alright. So... Oh, God. Ooh. Add four to light damage dealt by all allies and enemies. That's probably not ideal. Um... So, you have attack down. Hmm. I'm just gonna magic strike with you, because we need to get a uh, heal down on uh, Ritus. Ooh, two damage. Good job. Nice work. Big damage. You know what? Maybe we should see if we can paralyze you, but... Um, yeah, let's try to get the paralysis here. Why don't we? Uh, four or greater. Oh, but you resist it. Of course you do. I should have known. I hate when, like, boss fights resist status ailments. It always sucks. It sucks even more if you actually invest in it. Luckily, I... I mean, I kind of have by having that skill on, even. But, um... It really sucks when, you, when it's a game where you actually, you know, build your character's stats and stuff, and you spec into, like, uh... Uh, status ailments and stuff, and then it's like, uh-uh, that doesn't work on the bosses, or the enemies that you need it to work on the most. <laughs> Always blows. Luckily, some recent JRPGs, like Bravely Default, have, uh, and Persona, and SMT. They actually utilize, um, debuffs in a really cool and interesting way. Yeah, big damage. That's fine, though. Add three to all allies and enemies attack. Um, I'm gonna guess if you're resistant to that, you're probably... I think a lot of bosses I've ran into, they've been resistant to all status ailments, right? So I'm kinda like, just, just hit him with that. It's still pretty good damage, so... Good stuff. And Ritus can give him a quick shot. Good, uh, 23 damage, I believe. And Ash, just give him an attack. Do, like, one damage. There you go. Okay, now you're dead, friend. Now you are very, very dead. I'm very happy about it. Cublargle. There we go. And a quick shot should finish you off here. Boom. Dead. Alright. Big XP, so yeah, you guys did count as a boss. Extra attack for you. Good job, Mar. Good job, Bruno. Let's level up Rudis and uh, Melanie, huh? 
It seems the Ivory Order disciples have come back to themselves. Their faces are blank. Oh, wait, you were like hypnotized or under a spell? Apparently, they don't recall anything after Sherwin ordered them to guard the door. Could he have hypnotized them? Hmm, I see. The Ivory Order disciples are gone. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to fight more of you at some point because I didn't get your thing added. Oh, wait, yeah, we did. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was about to be like, well, I guess we're gonna have to murder more of them, but no. We didn't murder them, I guess. We just knocked them out. Well, we didn't even knock them out because they walked away. We just, we knocked them out of their stupor. It's basically like when your allies charmed in a game and you are confused and you slap them with like your mage's staff to make them wake up out of it, snap out of it. Uh, oh, are they, they're considered characters, that's right. I thought since we fought them they'd be listed there, but yeah, they're over here. He was taciturn, kept his head down and did his duty. Not one of his comrades could ever recall hearing his voice. The shield is heavy, the robe's suffocating, sweat soaks his mask. Battling the heat, who has energy to talk? Not this guy. Yeah, those things don't look very comfortable. Everyone wears a mask and cloak, white as the driven snow. This suits her just fine, more than fine. One might say she joined the Ivory Order just to wear it. One wouldn't be wrong. Her undeniable beauty brought her attention. Endless suitors, such marriage proposal more insufferable. Each marriage proposal more insufferable than the last. The mask and cloak gave her peace once more. Man, that sucks. <laughs> Just because people are weird and, like, are constantly following you and are like, marry me and everything, doesn't mean you should have to cover yourself up. That blows. Alright, well. Let's go. Explore the rest of this place. Uh-huh, it's over here. We got some treasure hiding anywhere? I could do with some treasure. Just saying. Another pyro wolf. And five. Two of them, in fact. Um, I think I'm gonna do a magic strike on you. God, we do big damage to you guys. Excellent. Yeah, you're quite weak. British should finish that one off. Uh, not quite. Um, we are going to have enough to do Spinning Ray, but I don't think I want to do Spinning Ray against these guys because I'm fairly sure they resist it. Let's kill you. Yeah, Spinning Ray would have been nice if they didn't resist it. Oh well, get bopped. I don't know why, but this particular version of the Pyro Wolf's, like, decapitated head looks even creepier. I don't know if it's just because I see the stump instead of it being obscured by fire or what, but it's just kind of creepy. <laughs> don't like it. Uh-huh. Can we jump in the... We cannot. Okay, there's another Ivory Order person. Hello. You shall not pass. Die. Okay, well, Sherwin set up a lot of guards to keep us out, it seems. I also said we got betrayed um, when we walked into this place because I once again got Sherwin and Hedwin mixed up. Sherwin's the dude that betrayed the Ivory Order. Decreased dark damage, huh? Well, I wasn't planning on hitting you with dark damage anyway, so... I probably should heal up here, though. So, I think we're just going to do a basic attack with Melanie. So that, uh, I can get a heal down. Uh... That's death. Goodbye, Riddus. I was too late. On that heal. Alright, well, at least I can keep Melanie alive. Crit heal. Like, no one even has that much HP. Maybe Mar does. That was a 45 HP. Well, people have 45 HP, but I would never need to heal 45 HP. 
That's just a lot of damage to heal. Our health bars aren't that big enough. Ooh, you're trying to freeze me. Ooh, you succeeded in freezing me. See, that's dumb. I bet my freeze wouldn't work on you, but you can use it on me. Okay, increased dark damage. Unfortunately, I don't have enough gems to actually utilize that. Whatever. Set him on fire. Probably should have cured the freeze there, actually. Oh my god. Okay. You're trying to freeze both of us. That is not ideal. Okay, good. The freeze wore off. Okay. You really want me to use dark on this character. You know what? Fine. I'll... I'll try it. Plus 10 light damage. Okay, good that you resist that. Uh, you know what? Nope. Maybe we're gonna heal instead because this person hits really hard. God. Yeah, they really, really want us to use dark, but I'm like, I can't get enough gems for that. Mostly because Ridus is dead. You know what? We have all these items. Why not? I have like a billion in Spyro Elixirs. Let's just bring Ridus back up. Even if just to make it so we get more gems. Maybe it would have been better just to use a Soothe Stone, though. Well, never mind. Ridus is probably... Okay, no, you survived with 1 HP. <laughs> Jeez, poor Ridus. Alright, there we go. Everyone's healed. We should be good now. Inflict curse on all allies and enemies for two turns. What does curse do? Cards afflicted with the curse take damage whenever they attempt to recover their HP is made. Well, that doesn't affect the enemy. Really? Interesting. Alright, let's hit you with darkness since you're probably weak to it. Let's find out. It keeps... It seemed like it wanted me to use this. Yeah, you are weak to it. Good stuff. <clears throat> That's fine, I resist it. Uh, lightning strike. Could this kill? I don't think it can, even if I roll like a six, which I didn't. Yeah, if I had crit, I would've. Increase light damage. That would've been nice to get earlier game. <clears throat> but whatever, be that way. Big Dimaggio. Alright, 1600 XP. I will take it. Oop, I didn't even get to see her stats because I was mashing A like a madman. Oopsie. HP and speed for Melanie, though. I think I saw about three stats that Riddus got. Okay, that one we actually killed. Rip. Rest in peace. Let's jump over here. Gotta fill it in, man. We gotta kill more of the holy wolves anyway, so... Not a big deal if I get into an extra battle. <clears throat> oh, hey, it's one of you. Yeah, I was wondering when we were gonna run into you again. Uh, how do you feel about being frozen to death? Oh, never mind. Fortunately, you don't really seem to care. Bop. And one attack from Ash should finish you off. You're also quite slow, which is very useful. Probably because of that huge-ass weapon that you have. Probably doesn't help. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, yeah, I've been looking to get their uh, page unlocked as well. Yep. Mausoleum level one, let's go. sense something strange about this place. You can hardly make out your surroundings in the dim. You'd best watch your step. Really manipulate the camera has been restricted. All right, we're dealing with that, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, those are spikes. Probably don't want to walk on those. I imagine it damages me or just doesn't let me walk on it. 
Uh, oh, there's the skelly that I wanted. Now, are you going to be weak to fire? No, not quite. Oh well. Um, quick shot. Two times damage. That's not going to do enough to kill, unfortunately. I think Ash could finish you off, though. Mmm, no. I should have just killed the skelly. Bolt damage to all enemies. Ow! Oh, okay, that, that was nothing. Never mind. Carry on. <clears throat> Good stuff. Oh yeah, you heal. Well, that's not obnoxious at all. Die, please. And... Riddus. I wish Riddus had an AoE attack. I'm honestly just not feeling the paralysis thing that I have on. I might swap it out for that something else. It's just... I don't know, it doesn't really come up enough to be useful. I feel. Whatever. Yeah, probably swap that out. <clears throat> Big XP. Good job, Mar. And Bruno. Two HP on Bruno. Alright. Um, skills. For Vitus. I don't like Shockwave. Uh, could just swap it out for Deadly Mirage. Or Crystal Arrow. Or Ready Aim Fire. Hmm. Hmm. Ten to on attack for two turns. Feels better to just attack rather than add more damage to your own attack. I don't feel like I would ever have enough gems to make use of Deadly Mirage, and there's not really a point in doing it, I guess, because wouldn't it be better just to do two quick shots rather than one Mirage? I'll do Crystal Arrow. Let's just go with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Also, Melanie, what? Is there anything I would want to replace Darkness with? I mean, zero elements is nuts, but I don't see a time where I would ever have that many. Putting Zephyr on might not be a bad idea, though. Whatever. I haven't run into many things that are weak to wind, I don't think. Okay, well, I guess we're going this way. In this maze of spikes. Yeah, this is uh, gonna be a long room, methinks. Hello, wolfies. Um, let's flame you. Fraggle, fraggle. And we'll quick shot you. Boom, boom, boom. It's almost enough for death. Ash can finish you off, though. Oh, yeah, you guys are very fast. Forgot about that. Like, seal on all enemies? Ooh, we all dodged it. Wow, that was coordinated. Oh. What was all this dodging? Quit it. You stop that. Oh, come on. Well, that's annoying. Up. You got one HP left, friend. What are you gonna do with it? Okay, that's... Eh, that was the wrong target. But whatever. Let's hit you with a slash. <laughs> Goodbye, holy wolf. Holy pupper. There we go. Alrighty. Light Wolf's enemy story. Cool. So, I think what I'm gonna start doing is, once we have the enemy story for an enemy, if I get into battle with, like, just them, I'll just run. Sounds like a good idea to me. Save some time and everything. Uh, that's not where I wanna be. Monsters. Go down here. There you are. 
Lightwolf. Ancient texts tell of a creature quite similar to this one. It seems the ancients worshipped them as keepers of the life light. Recent years, there has been no end to the number of adventurers pursuing these wolves in the hope of capturing one and never needing to worry about light again. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Yeah, and there's two enemies left down here. Interesting. We still have to get the dragon's story. wonder how we get that. Alright. Keep progressing this way, I guess. I don't really think there's going to be anything over here, but yeah, treasure. That's what I was hoping. Or, I, I did think there was going to be something over here. I just didn't think it was the uh, mission integral path. The path that we have to go down to proceed. Alright, cool. Uh, oh, it's impossible to reveal that unless I step on the spikes. How rude. Ouch. Yeah. The floor's covered in spikes. I didn't even mean to do that. Looks like a trap meant to deter trespassers. Yeah, I, I didn't even mean to do that. I, I apologize. <laughs> well, we're not going to be revealing all the tiles here because my party members take big damage if I do, so... A eulogy should take care of that damage I just took, though. I'm not even really hurting that much, to be honest. Uh, die, please? Yeah, that extra defense is annoying, but... This might kill you? No. I don't even think Ash can finish you off. No, Ash would do 10 damage. Don't you dare. Oh. How annoying. Alright, whatever. This should finish you off, right? Yeah. Good stuff. Alright, and Melanie, just hit that stupid pupper with some fire. Ow. Don't appreciate that very much. Uh... I mean, I don't think it'll kill you. Let's just let's just use slash. I don't feel like waiting for the lightning thing to actually go off. We can just kill you with flame. Flame, dear flame. All right. Dead light puppy. We all have 30 HP. Interesting how that worked out. Alright, so we can't go that way. Uh, let's get back over here and start trying to go this way again. We could have jumped across the spikes, basically, but... I'm imagining down and to the left is probably where the door out of here is. Maybe? Let's do this. Okay, cool. Two enemies that I don't have this stuff for. Chloe. And that be death. Cool, cool. Dead zone. And that's not gonna do anything. Yeah, even less now. Uh, probably shouldn't hit you with lightning, so let's just use that. Just a nice little basic attack. And fire, I think, will kill? Not quite. Loose arrow, deal damage. Go oh, bluey. <laughs> Goodbye, friend. Bum bum bum. All right. Still haven't gotten their story, unfortunately. All right. So what's over here? I feel like there's probably going to be another treasure up this way, in like the top right. Come on. Yeah, there we go. My adventurer instincts. You're helping me out. Uh, two of you, let's uh, run away. With a measure of luck, you might escape. Two dice succeeds on five or greater? Ugh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll just do it. I'll just fight him. I guess it's based off of, like, your level in relation to them. Which is kind of annoying, but whatever. 
I thought I would be able to easily escape them. I guess I'm not overleveled enough yet. At least they're a pretty easy kill since they have ludicrously low defense. Fortunately, I think it's going to take all three of us to kill this one. Yeah, because it barely lives with just a tiny bit of HP, like a very bad boy. Jeez. Go to sleep, pupper. Holy pupper, light pupper. Alright. What do we got in the treasure? Uh, cure target to seal. Okay, cool, I guess. Uh, well, I don't have one of those, so I'm definitely gonna toss out something else. Like, cure a target of paralysis. Discard. Yep. There we go. Thank you kindly. I can jump over there. There we go. Alright, what's down here and to the right? The bottom right. Another treasure. Is there going to be a treasure in all four corners and then the exit's going to be like in the bottom middle? I can see that being the case. Okay, one of you guys. I think I'm going to kill the wolf first. The wolf can potentially inflict seal on all of us, whatever that is. Um, fortunately, I don't think Ash could... Let's see, 13... Eh. With a with a lightning strike, I think he could kill the wolf. It would have been a shame to waste Riddus's really strong attack on the wolf. Yep, there it is. Okay, I guess we're gonna find out what Seal does. Maybe we can't use special skills. Yep, we not use spells that cost skills that cost gems. I mean, that would be annoying if we didn't already have you basically killed. Boom! 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 Yeah, you survive with 2 HP. But now we can use skills again, so... Shine. Alright, the wolf is fast, so let's kill the wolf and then Ash should be able to kill the skeleton without it getting a turn. Nope, skeleton's too fast. Oh well, they did a whole lot with that turn. I wonder what the, like, ghost girl behind the skeleton is. Can't wait to find out about that in the lore. Come on, give me the lore. I need it. There we go, lost soul. Let's go ahead and do that before I do the chest so I don't forget about it. Monster. Uh huh. Lost soul. With staggering magical prowess theirs at last, the lost souls uh, regained a modicum of humanity. They gazed upon their skeletal forms in despair, and vowed to become human once more. No spell could return the flesh to their bones, though experiments did yield a way to reconnect with loved ones, any who interfere with this joyous ride are killed. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, so they, they get their humanity back, but then they realize they're a skeleton, and they're like, uh... Well this sucks, so they try to reconnect with their loved ones. Alright, now we just need the harpy. Ugh, okay. Can I get, like, equipment from the chests, please? Because when, when I get an item, we have to do this whole song and dance every time, and frankly, I'm not really even using them, so... Yeah. Let's drop the stupid oil pot. We haven't been using these at all. No, I want to discard it. I want to discard it. There we go. Asks me twice. It's like, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. No, it's just trying to be careful, but damn it. Alright, what's over here? This probably leads to another treasure chest with another consumable item that I don't need, but I'd be a fool not to get it. Eh, doesn't even look like I can get over there. Actually. Is it a harpy? Two harpies. Okay. Well, this will probably give me the, um, uh, enemy story that I want. Oh? That was a nice crit. Um, boom boom. 
Big damage on the harpy. And... I think Ash goes before the harpies. I remember them being pretty slow. Yeah, so we can kill the... Uh, kill the wolf. I think I may have been able to kill the harpy, but I don't know if they resist lightning or not. They could. Since they cast lightning. Even though it does nothing. Congrats on your no damage. Alright, boom. Good stuff. And you hit him with a quick shot. Bop, bop, bop. Big dead. Alright, can you finish this off? You know what, let's find out if they're weak to lightning or not right now. Like, the last possible point that it actually matters. They do resist it. Okay. Good to know. I wonder if they resist the uh, light too, because they... You know, they also seem like a light elemental thing. Maybe they are just lightning. Whatever, point is, they're dead. Alright. Ooh, level up for Ash. Extra speed, you'll love to see it. Maybe you can outspeed some of these stupid enemies now. Elecrees. Never heard that word before. Reminds me of Valkyrie, except it's Elecree. Uh, not characters. Monster. Yeah, we're only missing two monster cards, and I think the only story we're really missing now is... Um... I think it's you? Yeah. Because we have you. So it's you and the dragon and those two. <clears throat> uh, nope. Back to the Elecry, please. There we go. Spurned by their flock, these wayward harpies were struck by lightning and imbued with magical powers. Now white as driven snow, they carry themselves to the divine air. Though they were long to return to the flock, they radically al their radically altered form led their own to see them as enemies, slashing until their white feathers ran red with blood. That sucks. They're unlucky enough to get struck by lightning, so all their friends are like, Oh my god, you're not one of us. You think the crazy new powers they got would? Okay, come on. I. How much HP do we have? The Redis is gonna take a big hit from this, but come on, there's got to be something over there, right? Come on, there's got to be something over there. Don't you tell me there's not. Items. Uh. This is possibly a wanton waste of resources, but. I gotta know, man. What if there's a treasure chest hiding, like, right in the corner? There is! It's not a waste. Awesome. Fists of Goliath, also known by the moniker God Fist. Great, I got... I got Bruno's ultimate weapon. Damn it. Ugh. Whatever character I'm not using, but yeah, that was uh, pretty well hidden. Boom. 35 attack damage seems like a lot. Uh, yeah. That's a pretty high amount of attack damage. Alright. Well, let's uh, keep on trucking here. Is there a reason to go up here? <clears throat> no more hidden treasure. Hopefully I can run from this fight. That would be ideal. Uh, run away. Decent chance of escaping. Let's run. Yay! Cool. Out of here. Alright. So... Is this gonna take me to the next floor, or... Oh no, it's another fight with you guys. Well, unfortunately, I'm, uh out of time now, so I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode off right in front of this guy, so I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.